This is an integral. We're finding the area of a region that lies above the x-axis. So without doing any more work, I know it's above the x-axis, um, meaning that it's going to be counted vertically like this. So it's going to immediately be a dx integral. So it's normally our integrals are f of x dx, except now our function of x is just y times dx. And our t goes 0 to 1, so that's not bad at all. Uh, the reason this is a dx integral, again, is because we're between the x-axis and the curve. If we were between the y-axis and the curve, we would have a dy integral. We don't have that situation, so we have a dx integral. And again, I only knew that because it was above the x-axis, not I did not figure that out by looking at these curves at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up. We already have y. So what is dx? This is uh, x prime t dt prime t dt or another way to write it, dx dt is equal to x prime of t, and you just multiply dt to the other side. All right, so all I have to do is compute this. So what is x prime? Here's x, x prime, I'll let this rewrite x, t squared plus 4t plus 2. Derivative is 2t plus 4. And there's also a dt at the end. So that's dx, and we already have d we already have y. So this is the area, and we can write the area integral. So y is e to the negative t times 2t plus 4 dt. And they already gave us 0 to 1, the t values. Okay, so how do we integrate it? Well, if it wasn't for this stupid 2t you would just, uh, the antiderivative is e to the negative t times negative 1. But because we have the 2t, we're going to have to distribute here. The 2t plus 4e negative t. I'm splitting it into two integrals. You can just do this uh, second integral here without anything fancy. You could do a u substitution if you want to. u equals negative t, du equals negative dt, uh, but you don't even necessarily need that, so it just becomes negative. All right, how do we do this antiderivative? This is integration by parts. And the way we pick it, we want u to get more simple when we take a derivative, so we'll let u equal 2t, and the other leftovers are all dv, which is e to the negative t dt, and I chose this because e to the negative t derivative or antiderivative is the same, so it doesn't get easier either way, but when I take, when I find du is 2 dt, regular v is negative e to the negative t, and now you can use your integration by parts and go ahead and finish this integral.